I always like to start by having people uh, introduce themselves and what they study. Well, my name is Walter Edwards. I, as you can tell from my accent, I am not. Um, I wasn't born in this country. I was born in a country called Guyana, and um, I emigrated to I mean permanently to the United States in 1980. I teach mainly. Um, pigeons and Creole languages, uh, African American vernacular English, or uh, introduction to so sociolinguistics, American dialects, and things like that. Just listening to your recent interview about African American vernacular English, and the one question I had is, what is what is the biggest mis misconception you have come across about what people have about? AAVE. Um, the biggest misconception, well, it's in fact a very widespread misconception is that AAVE is just broken English. It's that people who who speak it are unable to speak um, standard English or too lazy to do it and so on. And that perpetuates a misconception that was sort of um, there from the beginning of um, the sojourn, not the sojourn, the beginning of the um, in, inhabitation of this country by Black people. Um, and it's a really, um, really counterintuitive misconception that people who have come from Africa, where there are dozens and dozens of languages and uh, the typical African uh, is multilingual and can speak many, many languages. I'm curious, how did you find yourself studying uh, all these languages? What appealed to you about this field of research? I mean, this this might sound a little corny. I, 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 and, I and I sometimes don't like to say it, but I came from very, very, very humble beginnings. I. I, I grew up in the poorest section of the poorest section of Georgetown, Guyana. I, mean, I went to school sort of barefooted. My parents were very, very poor. And so I grew up speaking uh, what is called conservative Guyanese Creole. But I, I, I lived, I grew up in the city and the the urban variety of Guyanese Creole is um, is different from the rural variety, but it's still uh, very, very different from standard English. And of course, um, what I spoke when I went to school, uh, what I spoke natively when I went to school was not what the teachers wanted, of course. Um, Guyana was a former British colony, and English is the is the uh, official language. And kids going to school sort of uh, didn't you, you couldn't speak uh, Creole uh, or or what we call Creolese. Uh, it was uh, it was banned, and so on. And of course, it was very difficult for people like me to to succeed. But you know, some of us did succeed and manage to, to, to learn standard English enough to pass your exams and to get scholarships to go to college and so on and so. Uh, and just the final question, um, what's one of the biggest surprises someone might learn about what, what you've studied? Um, what's something that surprised you in, in, in your research? What can surprise me is the the kind of stubbornness that um, say African Americans themselves have about accepting AAVE as a, as a coherent or variety worthy of um, worthy of note. Thank you so much, sir, for giving me the opportunity to talk about my work. It's yeah, uh, of it's course, a, yes, it's always a pleasure. It was it was a great it was a great speaking with you.